everybody. Here we have a Dell Inspiron laptop that was in for service. It came running very slow. Had all sorts of weird issues going on with it. Um, user profile issues and things like that. And ultimately what I decided to do is I decided to back up the files and just start from scratch on this very low Windows. Now I had Windows 8.1 when I got it. And of course I put Windows 10 on it. The thing was acting really weird from the start. Um, sometimes it would just freeze. I had to manually restart it. It just started to think the hard drive was going bad. Um, that was because when I started to load um, Windows 10 on it, um, it would get through the installation process all the way to the finishing up step and then it would throw an error message saying it wasn't able to update the um, I think it was a bootloader or, or boot configuration. Yeah, boot configuration. It would do it, you know, I tried like several times to do the same thing, error out the same exact area. And this is really, really odd. But I figured out what the issue was. So basically the issue that was causing all this to happen was secure boot. Yep, secure boot. Because I went into the BIOSEP utility and disabled it. I did leave the BIOS set to UEFI mode and then tried to install Windows 10 again and it worked flawlessly. No problems whatsoever. It runs a whole lot faster too. So no issues there. Um, but yeah, it's kind of odd. So if you happen to run into this issue um, if you're if you're installing Windows 10 or maybe even, maybe even Windows 8 or 8.1 if you're trying to install any of these operating systems and you're getting an error saying it wasn't able to update the boot configuration, SEP has failed, reverting settings, you know, that kind of stuff, try disabling Secure Boot. It might work out for you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.